It's your main girl Sarah and I'm here to show you my crib and it's time for MTV Cribs. <laughs> hey guys, uh, so yes, I am in my crib, uh, which you guys have seen before and today I'm going to be doing a closet tour which has been overly requested for a long time uh, but you know, I'm constantly changing stuff around and finally I feel like Everything's a bit organized now in the way that I want it, so I'm kind of ready to show you. Uh, I'm doing this uh, closet tour for three reasons. The first is because it was requested and you guys kind of wanted to see what was in my wardrobe. My second reason is that I am an organizational freak, so hopefully from this tour you'll be able to get some ideas on how to put your own wardrobe together, how to organize it and categorize it and everything, because I do have quite a lot of stuff. And my third one is just to pull out some of my favourite pieces and tell you a bit of a story behind them and and how I got them and there's some interesting stories behind some of the stuff in my in my wardrobe since most of it is vintage. This is going to be the first of many upcoming videos to do with clothes, uh, style, not fashion. Uh, to do with my wardrobe, I'm going to be doing a series of uh, tutorials and uh, workshops with you guys, showing you, giving you ideas on how to put outfits together and how I've kind of come to have my own style. Uh, before I do this video, I just want to say that uh, the obvious, like, I'm in my 20s, no one pays for all my stuff. Uh, I don't have anyone funding my lifestyle except for myself uh, so if anyone has any comments to add about me being spoilt or anything like that uh, please refrain from doing so because I'm really not and a lot of stuff in my wardrobe is seriously cheap uh, so anyway I'm gonna get on with the tour okay so let's get started I guess before I actually show you through everything I'll just give you a quick guide around so I'm going to do an actual apartment tour uh, later on, so for now I'm just going to show you my closet, which was the end of this video, and I didn't need to tell you that. Uh, anyway, so this is my first wardrobe, this is my dresses wardrobe, and I'm going to go through this in a minute, and then I keep my jelly shoes up the top there. Uh, my second wardrobe is my coats and jackets. And again, I will run through in a minute. My third wardrobe has most of my casual clothes and various things in there. And then my fourth wardrobe, yes, my fourth wardrobe is this one here, which has just some shorter pieces and tops and things and then there's some stuff down the bottom there. So I'm going to run through everything with you now. Okay, so, here it is. Well, oh, also, up on here, I've got some dresses and clothes. These are some of my favourite pieces. So, I've got this 1960s bathing suit, which was from Saks Fifth Avenue back in the 60s, and I love that piece. Uh, this is another 60s dress. It was a go-go dress. Uh, this was would have been a evening gown back in the 60s, and it also has a really beautiful back. And then that's just a really cool floral shirt from the 70s. And I'll skip past all this for now because that's not what this video is about. So this is my dresses wardrobe and this is my biggest wardrobe because I wear a lot of dresses. So everything is in colour order. First thing I'll show you is this dress here. And I made this dress and it's actually not finished. And I've made it out of this crazy glittery clear PVC fabric. I hope you can see that. But um, I've been constructing that over the last couple of days. So that stays at the front of the wardrobe. Uh, also down here I have some Vogue's and all my fashion, like a couple of my fashion magazines. I just like to keep them there. And my guitar amp is down there. Uh, so first tip I'm going to give you for organising your wardrobe. If you look at my wardrobe, you're going to notice that apart from this one piece at the front here, I've used the same hangers. And these hangers are amazing. They're these very thin, streamlined velvet hangers. And the reason why these are benefit to you in your wardrobe is that they can literally save 50% uh, of the space compared to wearing using like 
thick plastic hangers or wooden hangers because look how thin they are. Can you see that? Uh, despite being thin, they're incredibly strong and because they're velvet lined, they also grip and they stop your clothes from slipping off. So they are literally like the best thing I've bought for my wardrobe and you can get them in really awesome colours. Uh, I've stuck with this kind of colour palette because I'm really anal and I like to have everything in colour palette. So yes, that's the first tip I can give you, get good hangers for your wardrobe. So let's see, I'll show you a few pieces. This is my Lady Petrova dress, which is from a Melbourne designer, uh, and Petrova Hammond, she actually was in Project Runway, and she's Melbourne based, and she has an awesome store in Melbourne. Uh, most of the things through here are 60s dresses, vintage 60s dresses, so I don't really need to give you all the deal. Uh, sometimes I wear... Uh, nightwear as like an outfit so this is an example this is a vintage gown nightgown and I wear that just over the top like a little uh, jacket over the top of my some of my dresses uh, I don't actually wear it as a night piece and I really like maxi dresses so uh, I tend to go for obviously like a 70s or 60s maxi dress and this one is pretty incredible and I picked that up really cheap. Got some Barbie in here. <laughs> uh, this is actually a not a 70s or 60s dress but it's actually a costume hire dress and I actually do have quite a few costume hire pieces in my wardrobe. Uh, I've got that one this is actually a costume hire dress as well that I just wear out and I've got a pirate costume back there. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this you may remember from my birthday which was a dress that I sewed and added pieces onto uh, for my kind of princessy look. Princess mermaid look. Uh, that's another nightgown. Uh, something I'm really fond of right now is this really trashy 80s look. So these really like awful synthetic f fabrics. Uh, so that's something I'm getting into at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I've got a lot of I've got a lot of texture in my wardrobe. I've got a lot of color in my wardrobe. Obviously, uh, this dress is amazing. You've seen it. This is my uh, Romance Was Born dress that I bought for New Year's this year. Uh, this is another costume dress. It's a um, pirate costume dress and yeah it's pretty cool. Uh, I love the colour of this. This is like a mint green dress with this faux fur on the bottom there which is pretty awesome as well. Um, so just skipping a bit of head. This dress has a little bit of a story and I love this dress. This is an 80s ice skating dress and it's really heavy. It's all been hand beaded and sequined and I picked it up for an absolute bargain. So basically I was at this warehouse and looking for clothes, just a vintage warehouse digging around and I saw that dress hanging off the arm of this girl and I was like Oh my god, I'm so jealous. I really I want that dress because it was it was like ten dollars. And uh so I came up to her and I said, uh, if by any chance that doesn't fit you, can you um let me know? Because I really, really want it. And it's absolutely tiny, so lucky for me, uh she couldn't fit into it and so she gave it to me. And yeah, I've been holding on to it ever since and it's one of the coolest things in my wardrobe. This piece has an, a story to it as well and it's kind of folded up so you can't really see. It's this insane cocktail dress and it's actually made by John Galliano. Uh, and I keep it in this dust bag because I'm paranoid about something happening to it. Uh, I guess I can kind of show you. That might give you a better idea of the bust and stuff. But uh, this dress is probably the most expensive thing in my wardrobe. Uh, it is hand stitched, boned, floor length couture John Galliano dress that by um, chance and luck and uh, 
a really kind seller. I happened to pick it up for a crazy good price. I uh, won't say how much, but uh, I've only worn it once to a gala, fashion gala thing, and I'm hoping I'll be able to wear it again. Uh, this really crazy lady, uh, according to who I bought it off, uh, actually her husband was like a billionaire pretty much and bought her all these ex ex insanely expensive clothes and then she they got divorced so she donated them all and that's how I happened to come across this dress so I think it's really cool because all I can picture is this insane woman swanning around her mansion wearing this dress so yeah that's another really cool piece in my wardrobe uh, this is another cool piece that I really like uh, it's a gold latex dress, more or less looks like a stripper outfit. This is Wilson Doll Baby back in the old days, I think in like the 90s, and uh, yeah, I love it. Because that's when Wilson Doll Baby was more rock and roll and a bit dirtier than it is now. <laughs> um, and I've got more 80s monstrosities at the back here. And this dress is by the local designer Discount Melbourne, who are actually friends of mine, and it's this insane floor length dress that's all different shades of lace. And at the bottom, it has this incredibly detailed beading and all over the sleeves, if you can see that. And it weighs a ton, and it is the coolest piece. I just don't get much chance to wear it. Uh, so that is that wardrobe. And at the back here, I've just got some scarves, various scarves. And along the top here, you probably notice I have a whole bunch of jelly shoes. Jelly shoes are just so comfy. I always used to wear jelly shoes as a kid, so when they became available to me again I was very excited to relive that um, so these ones are by the brand Juju which are the original ones and then there's these which are by the brand J Beans which is an Australian brand and these ones are by this brand Phoebe Jar I think it is anyway on to the second wardrobe this is my mannequin Romy and this is my rainbow chandelier uh, so yeah, I keep the mannequin in my house when I'm shooting clothes or whatever. And down here is my stall for getting up the top of the second wardrobe. And underneath there is just hangers, spare hangers and stuff. Uh, this is my new pair of sunnies by Miu Miu. And I'm just going to zoom in on them so you can see. So yeah, I'm so in love with them, they're gorgeous. Down the bottom here, I and I've just switched this all around, I have um, just some of my bags, some of my smaller bags. So I've got this box here with my um, little coin purses and stuff that I don't use all the time. Uh, I've got some glow mesh going out bags, vintage bags. I've got Barbie. I've got some Yves Saint Laurent makeup bags and Anna Sui. And then up the top here, this is my day bag, one of my day bags by Furla, my Furla candy bag and it's been amazing to me and I love it. Uh, I've got Ted Baker bag here, I've got my Marc Jacobs mirror bag here which is sick and then I've got my my Moschino handbag which is a really good day bag. Uh, so, And this wardrobe is really good because it has like the storage up the top and bottom as well as the hanging space and this one is from Howard Storage World. This second wardrobe here is my coats and jackets as I said before. So coming up to winter uh, I like to have these clothes close at hand. Uh, so again I have everything in colour order on the non-slip hangers and just through here I've got all my jackets and cardies and I don't really have any fun stories there with these. This is from my work. Uh, I work in this really cool vintage store now in uh, Fitzroy in Melbourne here and it is called My Delirium and we sell psychedelic 60s and 70s clothing so that piece is from there. It's a really amazing store. Uh, this coat is really awesome. This is like a thick wool German coat which I have 
which I just picked up for winter and I actually picked it up for about $15 and it would have cost a fortune because it's it's just so beautiful it's so thick and heavy uh, and then I've got my sports girl jacket but on the back here I wrote I'm just a teenage dirtbag baby and the A has fallen off so I need to stick that back on uh, and this is my biker jacket which I again customized with studs and everything and then on the back here I've got motorhead <laughs> um, reliving my teen days I guess um, so that's a really good piece to have uh, here I've got all my trench trench coats and longer coats so I've got this woolen one this leather one which I bought from a lady in Berlin and I will say I do have two fur coats in my wardrobe and without getting into a huge debate about fur they're both secondhand fur they're both old fur I don't condone the purchasing of new fur uh, but I have these pieces I came across these pieces um, by chance and I do love them and I will probably keep them forever and pass them on and I don't really want to go into it further because I know it can be a huge debate uh, so I've got this one by Iceberg which is an Italian one and then I've got this really old one which my friend David actually gave to me and it's a old rabbit fur coat from like the 50s so they're my two fur coats and then I've got a bunch of Wills and Doll Baby and Alana heel coats at the back here. On the next bit here, I have all my headbands and hair accessories. So I just kind of pile them in there, all my hats and things. And then up the top here is some shoes. And these are most of my heels because I recently got rid of a whole bunch. So I've got my Jeffrey Campbell Glitter Leaders here. I've got my sugar-free shoes. I just bought these. They've got this rainbow heel, glitter heel. They're like the epitome of a me shoe. If I was a shoe, I'd be this shoe right here. There's a whole bunch of the back there, but I'm not really that excited about them. Um, I have these stripper shoes, and uh, the reason that I have stripper shoes is because I really love stripper shoes. Don't ask me why. I just think they're really cool. I've always thought stripper shoes were really cool, so with my old work we got them in one day and I was like you know what I'm gonna buy a pair and I do wear them out and I freaking love them so don't ask me why but I love my stripper shoes and then I got my USA uh, Jeffrey Campbell shoes here which unfortunately I don't wear very much uh, I bought these ones of ASOS they're just like a good day heel uh, ASOS is so good for shoes and then I've got my Melissa heels and Melissa make awesome shoes that are like the jelly and so I've got those and I've got my Santa shoes at the back there and then these are just some from Whitner so I'll move on to my next wardrobe now another tip I can give you for organizing is these racks uh, these little hangers so here I've just got all my belts and I don't really have that many I actually probably need some more just for every day and my guitar is down there now these stickers here are awesome these stickers are original 70s stickers that they used to stick on the VW bugs or 60s stickers and uh, I'm, I happened to come across them on eBay and yeah they literally used to put them on the old um, bug cars and I thought that was so cool so and this this wardrobe actually is very old and I picked this up from a op shop here in Melbourne and inside I just have some old um, pants and skirts and there's nothing really that exciting in here um, I have this kind of storage hanger and this just hangs inside my wardrobe like on an on a hanger and you can kind of throw accessories and stuff in there what I love about this wardrobe as well is that it came with this cool pattern down the bottom here uh, and then I've just got more heels in there going into the next side got some shoes down the bottom again now this is another storage tip for you guys uh, you can get these from Ikea or all over the place. I've got the shoe one, so I've got my cool Adidas Originals there. These actually light up. Let's see if I can get them to light up. Oh yeah. 
They're actually children's shoes, but I haven't fit into them. So I bought them and I've got my spiky creepers and some heels and some more creepers. And in this wardrobe here, this wardrobe, um, this storage thing, uh, I got this. Again, it's the same kind of deal and I just throw all my t-shirts and stuff in here. So I've just got a lot of band shirts and gimmicky t-shirts. Like I got my Hooters one. I've got my Marilyn Manson one there. Um, I collect a lot of the old 90s kind of gimmicky shirts and things. So I throw them all in there because it's easy. That's that wardrobe. Just coming through here, this is a corset that I made for my birthday well I bought the corset and then I covered it in Sprosky crystals thousands and thousands of Sprosky crystals and then at the bottom here I have some Shogunikas from Bulls and Doll Baby which is another one of my favorite pieces uh, I got rid of most of my Bulls and Doll Baby because I'm not really into it anymore but I just don't think I could ever bear to get rid of these so I've kept those and on to my final wardrobe and I really hope I'm not boring you guys here and giving you some ideas uh, here I've just got a little storage crate where I keep my underwear and I don't think it's necessarily to show you my underwear uh, and these are just some little storage boxes that I decorated hat boxes and in here I just keep all my um, hosiery so I'm really obsessed with colored hosiery I do have a lot of it and then that bottom one is like absolutely chock-a-block full of hosiery boxes. And I don't, yeah, there's just a lot. I've got a lot. Uh, at the back here, I've got a shoe storage thing. And then I've got some of my high boots, my go-go boots and stuff. Uh, so I hope I'm, I'm giving you ideas in terms of like how I've actually categorized it all and organized it all. Uh, this is my final wardrobe. Uh, actually, I'll show you up here first. That's a um, flower crown I made, and this is pretty cool. Uh, someone painted this of me, or drew it, or however they did it, and that's the original photo, and that's uh, what they did, and I thought that was cool, so I printed it out. <laughs> um, and in here, I've just got my socks and PJs and boring stuff which I keep locked away in the cupboard. And through here, I just keep shorter things. So things just because I've got the storage underneath. So I've got like tutus and stuff and various pants. I've got gummy bear leggings. My wardrobe really isn't that practical for the average person, but you know. Um, this is pretty cool. I, I really like pieces, like sets of clothing. So, uh, as in like two-piece sets or whatever. This one is a vintage 80s casherelle one with Marilyn Monroe heads printed over it. So, I've got it as a suit. And I actually haven't even had the chance to wear it yet. And it is so cool. Um, so, I had to have that. This one is a vintage, eight, no, this is 90s or early 2000s. This is Versace. Um, this is my Versace classic three-piece outfit, which is, blows my mind every time I look at it. And so it comes with the jacket and that, and then it also comes with this little crop top as well, which crosses over kind of deal. And then I've got this one, which is a 60s one, which I think was handmade by somebody. So that's pretty cool. And then I've got the Bart Simpson outfit. Again, two piece. Uh, this is this crazy rainbow sequined velvet top that I bought from an op shop for five dollars, and I love it. And then I've got that's some more discount from Melbourne. This is pretty cool. Uh, oh, hang on. This top I bought in an op shop also, and it's Chanel, and it's actually real. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I've got that in my wardrobe and here I have an old cheerleading outfit which I think was for a child and it actually is meant to be a dress but because my waist is so small I fit into it and wear it as a top so that's actually an American cheerleaders outfit that I wear as a top and then I've got some 
old 80s bikinis in here, which I don't wear as bikinis. I just wear them out because I'm crazy. And I've got another baby Barbie piece there. And then here are some corsets that I've got at the front here. And then the last thing is these little green Japanese <laughs> bikini bottoms, which I just wore out one day with no pants. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. I hope I gave you some ideas in terms of organizing. Uh, the main tips that I could really give you is just keep everything tidy, keep everything off the floor. Uh, like, it makes you find if your place is messy, it's usually just a floor drobe. Like, it's just crap off the floor. So, I try to stay on top of it. Uh, if you're like me and you have a lot of colorful items, it's really good to keep things color coordinated because it's so much easier to find stuff. Uh, those hangers made a huge difference to my wardrobe because they saved me so much space. Regularly go through your wardrobe and have a kind of little culling session. I wish I could have shown you when I actually did mine. It was only a couple of weeks ago. Uh, every couple of months I go through my wardrobe and see if there's anything I'm not wearing. If it's damaged or it's no good I either get trash it or I donate it. Uh, if it is good but I just am not into it anymore I'm very honest with myself and I sell it and then that way I have money to buy new pieces for my wardrobe. It's always like a journey for me and it's always like evolving my wardrobe and my style uh, and I just kind of let it happen now. Vintage clothing will probably always be at the forefront of my style now because it's just opened my mind as to what I can kind of achieve and and how I can go. Uh, I'm thinking that I'm wanting to go like next level soon and start to make kind of make my own clothes more so I can do stuff really out there with um, clear fabrics, PVCs, vinyls and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah that's pretty much all my wardrobe. I do have like a box of clothes which I'm kind of selling at the moment which obviously I don't need to show you but um, yeah that's just what I keep and that's what I love and I uh, hope you guys like the video and I'll speak to you soon. See ya. What's up MTV? It's your main girl Sarah. Uh... <laughs>